Coming up on this week's Barn Bulletin, we have hot priests, mosaics, and stilettos. Muddy stilettos. So this is only the second Barn Bulletin, but we had such good feedback from the first one. And one thing that people have asked for is a little bit more community news. So as a first little segment of community news, I wanted to bring your attention to the new mosaic, which has just been unveiled at the brewery court in Sirencester, just outside the Newbury Arts Centre. I've just had a look. It looks incredible. Hello, it's Yuan Lewis here reporting for Barn Bulletin. I'm here in the Brewery Court, just outside the new Brewery Arts Centre, for the unveiling of an incredible new mosaic in the town. Let's go and have a look. I heard on Gloucester Radio this morning that... Is that why you've come in to yeah. have a look? Just beautiful. As you can see, already very popular with the locals here in Sirencester. The word on the street is that it's lovely to see this mosaic back in the town. It was once the pride of the town. The original, which was discovered on Beaches Road in the 1970s, is in the Corinne Museum just down the road for you all to go and see. But if you're just passing through town, what a beautiful thing to see. And as I reflect on this morning's unveiling, that's incredible, it makes me realize that life and this community and all of us are like a mosaic, made up of different pieces, perfectly sculpted into a masterpiece. This is Yuan Lewis for the Barn Bulletin. Stay classy, San Diego. Uh, Sirencester. Stay classy, Sirencester. Wow. It's a, it's a rabbit. Amazing that the Barn Theatre and Teatro have been nominated for a Muddy Stilettos Award. I know what's going to happen. You're going to see this, oh, that's so lovely, and you're not going to vote. Well, I want to challenge you folks, because we never win this award because it's a public vote and we don't have the biggest audience. So here's the challenge. Let's upset the odds. Let's David versus Goliath, vote for the Barn Theatre, vote for Teatro, and let's beat the big guys. Shows-wise, Sherlock Holmes and the Whitechapel Fiend is still playing at the barn for the next few weeks, so make sure you get down to see it before it closes. And the next show, Constellations, the cast is so close to being announced, so stay tuned while we get that to you over the next few days. And Midsummer, that co-production with the Mercury Theatre, that's been fully cast now, and it won't be long until you get lots of news about the wonderful talent that will be coming and playing on the stage at the Barn Theatre. And I've also just been chatting with the new member of the Barn team, Dan Weger, who we are so excited to have joined as a production manager here at the team and running the theatre elements of the business. Uh, he's a, a legendary guy who has had a rich rich career so far and we're so excited to have him here at the barn he's going to be a game changer and we can't wait for you to all to meet him playing at the barn cinema over the next few weeks first of all we have vanya from the national theater live with andrew scott you may remember him as the hot priest in fleabag this will be him in a multi-role show a one-man super show it's been dubbed as and he'll be playing at the barn cinema on the 25th of february and listen to this at 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. So, get up, have your beans on toast, have a coffee, and come down to the barn cinema to check out The Hot Priest. Next up, we have One Life, the Anthony Hopkins epic about a heart-wrenching story of a man who saved 669 Jewish children in World War II. This actually sold out at the barn cinema last weekend. So on the 25th of February, we have a 10.30 a.m. show and a 4.30 p.m. show with a couple of seats remaining. So get in there straight away to book your tickets to One Life. We have Oppenheimer playing again on the 25th of February at 12.45 and 9 p.m. Another film that is being talked about a lot during this award season is Maestro. Um, you may know Leonard Bernstein from West Side Story. This film's about him and his tumultuous relationship and the upturning of their lives. It's an epic. The soundtrack in itself is worth the watch. So get down to the Barn Theatre on the 3rd of March. It's playing at 4.15 and 7pm. And that's it from this week's Barn Bulletin. I look forward to seeing you again 